regardless of what your favorite coin is, which blockchain you use the most, what your, your passion is in this space, people need to realize that we're, we're not enemies, okay? We all want the same common goal. We want mass adoption, enterprise adoption. We want the crypto market to continue to take off, all right? We have shared common interests there. And really, there is only one enemy for the crypto space that's been pushing back on the industry for quite some time. And it's the SEC, the ones that are supposed to be protecting investors. Now, we've seen them target blockchains, crypto entities, centralized exchanges, coins themselves. And now this war that they're waging on crypto is continuing even further. And it, now it is actually extending to liquidity pools. Now, what this is mostly focused on is a rule that they adopted yesterday. There was a hearing on this. And what they're actually focusing on is liquidity providers. There's still a big lack of clarity as to whether this is the entities that that help facilitate these, these liquidity pools, like something like Uniswap, whether it is the LP providers themselves, those who contribute to the pools, there's there's still an ongoing discussion regarding this. And the funny thing is they're saying you need to come in and register, but they still don't even have clarity on what this means and how you register and if we need to register in the first place, because again, we know the tokens themselves are not securities. So this was the excerpts from the an SEC hearing, excuse me, an SEC hearing that was going on between the commissioner and the SEC members yesterday. And you can see just reading through this, there is still a lot of confusion. So what they said was the, that the AMM is more than software. Uh, this is a staff member. He explains stuff that we all know and Pierce also knows. He says, yes, indeed, the LPs will be dealers under the rules and will need to register. He says it's the, the same as every other market maker. So Pierce, one of the commissioners of the SEC, said, so the AMM does not have to register, just the people who deposit. And then the staff member said, we have to be careful about terms, the people versus means. The people are using technology to deal, which is, again, not a very straight answer. So Pierce said, does the person who writes the code need to register? Staff, depends on facts and circumstances. If you write software and also are using the software to deal cryptocurrencies, then you are in. Pierce, how many people do you think are going to be pulled in if they keep doing this today? People who are de depositing in AMMs, how many? And the staff member says, it's a market that's not transparent or com compliant, <clears throat> so we don't have data, which is 100% false. Guess what? LPs, apart from centralized exchanges, they're all on chain. You can see when what people have added, when people have added. So again, this this uh, this lack, and even Pierce said, they're not compliant because they can't figure out our rules, and this will be a huge implementation challenge for us. There you go. This, this is an ongoing problem. Unfortunately, there are members of the SEC that are focused on just crippling the industry. They're not focused on actual advancement and growth and development and things like that, that other parts of the world are. And it's sad. It really is sad. Now, the good thing, the good thing, everyone, and what you need to understand is that the SEC has lost these battles time and time again. They do not have a good track record when it comes to this stuff in court. So this will be challenged in court. And guess what? They're going to lose 100%. Because again, the underlying assets that are in these LPs, they're not unregistered securities. They're not securities, period. Okay? That's where things go well. Now, why this is a Cardano video and how this relates to ADA is the biggest thing that we need right now when it comes to Cardano is true DeFi growth. That's what's going to help the chain grow. And unfortunately, this pushback is something that could obviously kind of slow things down. I don't think it's going to. I think by this point, everybody is over the SEC's shenanigans. I think that we all have a much bigger and broader vision when it comes to crypto. And we all know that this is nothing but, again, another fart in the wind, something that is going to blow past us. And years down the road, we're going to look back and just think, man, they were just a bunch of idiots. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. We will get past these, these troubling times and the crypto industry is going to continue to grow 100%. So have a great day. Show your support below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.